Exile and today I'm going to be doing a baking video. This is something new we're going to do. We're going to be doing baking videos. And this is going to be a Halloween themed one because Halloween's coming up. And I'm going to show you how to make trick or treat pumpkins if you want like to give out homemade treats. What you'll need will be normal sized marshmallows, um, some very little green chocolate melts. I've started melting them, but we're going to melt them a little more. Some sort of work surface to let the things dry on. Like um, You can use parchment paper. I actually have a non-stick mat. Um, a spatula. I have a trick-or-treat one, but you can use any spatula. Pretzels. And you're going to be breaking them in half like this for to make the stem of the pumpkin. And you will need black or brown chocolate melts. Um, it depends on how you want yours to look. I'm going to use them to draw on faces, whichever you'd like. I'm going to use black. Of course, you'll need orange and, as I said, some green. These are all mine. Okay? And now you'll need something to pipe on the faces. You can use ones that are reusable like this, or if you feel more comfortable using... Um, Piping bags like this, go ahead and use these. Um, and if you want to, if you're handing them out, um, a cool way to decorate them is in a little bag and tie them up with this. Um, I don't really know where the bags are. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is break apart each of these. You want them about halfway. Um, each pretzel will make two stems for to make two pumpkins. I went ahead and um, did that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remelt this because the green chocolate because it's starting to harden, and I'm going to go ahead and melt up um, my orange. So I'll be right back. We're going to fast forward this or cut it out. So I'm back and went ahead and melted the green chocolate a little more. And the next thing you're going to want to do is take the half of your pretzel that you broke and dip about um, a halfway through this in green chocolate. And once you've done that, okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to place it down anywhere and let it dry. And um, this is my first time doing this. So I might, anyway, it might go a little wrong. I'm hoping I can do this. And they don't take the long to do the stems because you're just dipping them a little in chocolate to make your pumpkin stem. And you don't have to dip them all the way, as I said, because you're gonna just stick it into the pumpkin and you're not gonna have it all coming out to be the green stem. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish up dipping. Got a few more to dip. Don't, don't melt together. And you don't want to put them too close because you don't want them to dry together. And then you'll have like a bunch of attached pumpkin stems. And I'm doing a lot because this is my first time and um, some of them might not dry that good. So, <sighs> you might want to do a few more if than what you want because who knows one it might break or something okay so once you've dipped all your pumpkin stems um might get a little messy we're gonna go ahead and melt green um not green um orange chocolate you're gonna want to melt more orange chocolate than green because they're gonna be dipping the whole marshmallow in the orange so, this is the orange chocolate I'm going to be using. I'm going to pour it into the bowl. I'm going to melt about a whole bag. So, one bag is good. And now we're going to start to melt them. Don't melt them in one big section. Do a little stir, do a little stir. So, we did the first time period, and now we're going to stir with our trick or treat spatula. And these should melt fairly quickly. They're, you can use any company. I'm just, um, I'm not sure what company I'm using. 
So we got the chocolate melted and now I'm going to show you how to put the pretzel slash stem into the marshmallow. First take your marshmallow and take your stem and just press down till all the pretz, just plain pretzel has been pressed in and you only see the green part that you dipped. Do that to um, as many as you'd like to make. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I have a bunch here, so I'm just gonna press all the stems in. And it might help to do it on like a hard surface. And I made a few more, so, because um, I was worried that some of them wouldn't melt good, so I made even more. So make sure that the um, pretzel doesn't go through the bottom. If it does, just cut the pretzel a little shorter. Then that one's getting melted, so I'm just gonna leave it that way. This is fun. You just press them in. Okay, that one's getting melty. And if they get melty, maybe you'll have a few that you won't give out and you'll just eat. <laughs> They'll still taste good. I made a bunch. It's gonna be like a pumpkin patch. Oh, delicious, tasty pumpkins. And these are gonna be jack o' at the end. I'm gonna show you to make a jack o' lantern. Okay, so now we have them all moved. We'll get the big bowl of chocolate. Uh, we added a little more because we felt that we needed a little more chocolate. And so I'm going to use a two fork method. We tried a candy dipper, it didn't work that well. What you're going to want to do is take a marshmallow, put it on a fork, um, put a fork on top to hold it on, then dip the marshmallow. Nice. And if you're a younger baker like me, you might need some help. And use a fork just at the top. It's okay if you cover a little bit of pretzel. So just use the fork to put a little bit on top. Not too much. Okay, that's was sort of a mess. Up. And then at the edge, just tap, tap, tap till most of the excess goes. This one was sort of a mess up. Okay, once you got most of the excess chocolate off, you're just gonna wanna take your fork, your other fork, and slide it off. Like that, and it's cake. That one was sort of a mess up, but we can keep trying. Okay, and slide them off. Oh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. It fell, it almost fell. I picked it up. So, I was having some trouble, so my mom gave me some sips tips and we got another bowl to like excess chocolate. So I'm going to keep going with the marshmallows and remember pumpkins aren't perfect in real life. Somehow that happened. Still worked. This is my last pumpkin of the day but I'm not done decorating but the last one to dip in orange. Just clean up a little and then we'll I'll show you how to do the faces. So I'm back and pumpkins are dry and we melted some black chocolate for the faces. And we have our little bag and we're gonna just put the black in the bag. Well not bag, I'm using this thing. It's gonna take a while because I'm not gonna pour, I'm gonna smooth a lot of time. My mom's gonna pour because I'm scared. Don't try this at home, kids, unless you have a parent helping you transfer it. So my mom taught me get all the chocolate into a squeeze bag. And now I'm going to take the jack-o'-lantern and I'm going to draw on a face. You can do any face you want. Um, I'm just going to start with a basic face, smiley. It's the face when they do. I just did a basic smiley. <laughs> okay, like... This one I'm going to do is zigzag mouth. Ooh. And I'm going to do ooh long eyes. 
He looks frowny. So this one, I think I'm gonna do a sad face. Uh, I and yeah, sad. Oh, this one, I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure what this one is gonna be. Okay. This is that one. Not sure what that is like. Me, she's wearing a mask. <laughs> These are fun to draw the face. And what I like about the face is you can do anything. You can do a cat, a pig, anything really. What should I do for you? Yeah. Like oh, I know what I'll do for you. Hero 6, a max eyes, or sunglasses. That didn't turn out as I was doing it. I was trying to make eyes, like it better hearts. But that didn't work out. He was trying to have a mustache. Okay, but that didn't work out. Yeah. I was trying to make stitch eyes and stitch mouth. So I'm gonna finish the rest of these off, off camera and I'll show you when I'm done. So I'm back, and while we wait for these to dry, I'm gonna do a bonus. Um, I've dipped some marshmallows in white chocolate, and using the same black, I'm gonna draw ghost faces to make ghosts. Yes, it's my ghost. And I have a few more. That's my second ghost. So here's my last one. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to bag them. Just take a bag. You can find these at Michael's. Take your pumpkin. Don't fall down. Don't fall. And place it inside the bag. At the top. And then you can also buy tiss ties there. Just I think they have these in different colors, real cold. Just wrap it like this. No, above the stem. A mistake. Okay, just above the stem. And then twist them like a twist tie. Mine's not the best. So I'm gonna bag like one more and then um finish off the video. I need some and you could probably trim that. Get it nice and long. So, let's finish off the video. Um, so, hope you like this video. If you like baking and you're looking to make baking Halloween treats, these are perfect for you. And, happy Halloween!